I know I'm gonna do it. There is no option that I give up. Like, whatever happen, I'm gonna do it. But, uh, but I don't know how. During the lockdown of April 2020, I discover Ed Pratt, the guy who rode around the world on a unicycle. And when I saw this, I thought, this is absolutely epic, I want to do it too. So in May 2020, when most European countries announced that festivals are cancelled at least until the end of August, I realized that the summer 2020 might be the only summer when I'm not touring with my street show. If I wanted to do a unicycle tour, it might be this summer or never. So I had to make it happen. So I met a friend to try a 36 inch unicycle for the first time ever. One week after, I bought my own 36 inch Chris Arms. I built it, tried it once, and then went for my tour around Estonia. Okay, today is the first day of trip. I'm actually not in Tallinn anymore. I haven't filmed so much what in Tallinn and not so much of the preparation. But uh, yeah, I've packed all my unicycle, as you see, it looks very nicely packed. And uh, today I wanted to leave from Tallinn and ride until like here in Kloga Randa. Meanwhile, I have to admit the truth, I think I've taken too much gear. And, uh, and I was absolutely unable to get on the unicycle. I've tried for about 45 minutes. And this, ladies and gentlemen, was my best intent. <laughs> so, took a bus to Kloga Randa, and now I will see, like I think I will try to unpack everything and tomorrow pack with the minimalistic stuff do like a trip and then see how we can ride and then try to slowly add, 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 add. I'm gonna have fun with this buddy. We don't know how, but we're gonna go around the world. Exciting, right? Exciting. Anyway. But even if I'm near a friend place, I wanna sleep in a forest. And the really nice thing is like, look. Took, there is a forest nearby. Mm-hmm, I know what I forgot to take and I need to get for the trip now. A mosquito repellent. That's my wisdom of the day. Okay, but then it's gonna be time to get to sleep soon, I think. Hey guys, before I share with you my experiment about how much I could carry on my unicycle, I just wanted to use this night break time to share with you the excitement I have right now to be editing this video. It's so crazy for me to edit this footage which are just three months ago but seems such a long time ago and thank you so much for all the support I've been having during this adventure. It was just amazing. And I'm so happy to see that uh, I just reached 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel which I know that for a lot of people that's gonna sound like, oh, that's nothing. But for me, it's a lot and it really means so much for me. I'm very so thankful for every one of you guys who are investing this, their time to, to watch my adventure. And I hope you're enjoying it as much as I enjoy editing this video and sharing it with you. And. I've never been asking this so much on my YouTube channel, but really today, if you if you could give me a help, give me a hand, please give a like to this video, and if you're really enjoying watching it, post it on your Facebook wall, so more of your friends can see it, and more people can enjoy this adventure with us. That said, 
so much for watching and uh, let's get back to the video. So today I have to figure out what is a good amount of gears. Well, this one, you already saw it yesterday. Well, okay, I'll put it one more time, it's just so fun to watch. <laughs> See if I can ride with this. This is pretty much an absolute minimalistic. I will just go to the shop, buy some food, and probably some cheese because that's what I do of my life. So, this is the amount I can ride pretty easy. Like right now, it's pretty chill. I got on a unicycle on the first try. Okay, let's try to get back, put a little bit more stuff on the uni. I've tried to pack my unicycle with the bare minimum. Actually, it's even less than the bare minimum. All I got on it at the moment is like my sleeping bag, my cooking stuff, some clothes, my banner from the rain, and some more clothes. But this is not even full. First test, we're gonna try to ride on the stone road. Let's see how it goes. If it goes well, super amazing. If I struggle, then I will walk until the asphalt to try again. Almost, that's like totally rideable, rideable. I mean, possible to ride. Let's give it more try. Whatever. Let's just go on the asphalt, it's gonna be easier. Here we are, we got some nice asphalt. Let's try this and see how it is to ride here. It's, it's already a bit challenging and still very far from what I want to get, so I don't have my backpack yet. Don't really know. Let's give this for you more try. Okay, so it's it's quite smooth to ride. It's it's definitely okay. So one of the worrying stuff is like I hear the mud guard always ripping on a tire, and I don't really know how I can fix this. So I have to think about it. Whoop! I'm back here. Okay, and. Uh, Okay, let's give it a try for a longer ride, I think. But to know how did I survive my first ride of 30 km, you will have to come back next Tuesday for the next episode.